Well, thank you for staying with us through that CBS News special report. Welcome back to Better Kansas City. So sugars are found naturally in some foods, while flavoring is a common reason sugar is added into many foods and drinks. Here to help us sort all of that out is nutrition professor Susan Mills Gray. So thank you for coming. And uh, you know, you brought with you I brought my little this bag. Yeah, I got to be careful yeah. driving around today. <laughs> this is table sugar. <laughs> Um, well, you know, the nutrition labels that all mm -hmm. of the, a lot of people live and breathe by, then we see these commonly. They're on every food product on our market, mm -hmm. are changing. There okay. are new nutrition labels. They'll be fully in, implemented within about six months. So do you like this? Because we were, we were checking out to see which ones are the new ones. Mm -hmm. This one has added actually listed separately right. versus total. For years, it's just said total carbohydrates, and then they got them to add total sugars. Mm -hmm. Now what we're going to see is a listing for sugar, which will tell you natural sugar, and then there'll be another line that says added sugars. Okay. And that's really what we want to focus on today, because I think we all understand that cereals, sweetened cereals, convenience products, candy, yeah, cookies, this is a lot of sugar, mm -hmm. right? So if you take a, a soft drink, uh -huh. a, not a diet, but a, what I call the hard stuff, <laughs> no, the full strength, uh, and a 12 ounce Pepsi, Coke, whatever it is, you're gonna get about 50 grams of sugar, and that's represented wow. as 12 teaspoons. Wow. So one gram of sugar equals a teaspoon. And to put this in perspective, how much sugar oh, pardon should... Pardon me, four teaspoons. Let okay. me so, um, you know, how much sugar is it okay for a person to have in their diet? All of the labels, a nutrition label is based on t an average of 2,000 calories. Okay. So some people eat more than that and some people eat less, but all of these labels are designed to be based on 2,000 calories. And the new recommendation is that less than 10% of your total calories in a day should come from added sugars. Okay, so if you're having a 2,000 calorie diet, that would be 200 grams or less. No, 200 calories or less. Okay. And so that would be about 50 grams of sugar. So if you drink one of these a day, you've shot your whole allotment for added sugar. Oh my gosh. Plus you've got all these things to look forward. Now what I want us to focus on today is there is lots of what we call hidden added sugars. Okay. So some of the big culprits are ready to, these really quick oatmeal packets that you just pop in the microwave. These are really good and they're not the same thing as steel no, packets? No, and, and plus they're also <laughs> loaded with sodium. Then you've got flavored teas, okay. flavored coffees. Uh, that's one of the things that's really contributing to our weight um, problems in the United States is the fact that one, we're more sedentary, but that we eat so much more added sugar. It's even added to canned soups. Mm. I mean, you've already looked at this one, right. like pre-prepared baked beans, spaghetti sauces. A tartar sauce. So these are my three like go to Here, These salad, are your foods, ketchup, and ketchup. Lots and ketchup, <laughs> lots and cream based dressings. And of course, who doesn't live in Kansas City and eat barbecue sauce, and, right? We and love, we love it. sweet barbecue. Right. So, so these are really loaded with extra added sugar. Now, you and I, before we were going went on, we were talking about sports drinks. Mm -hmm. These are really designed for athletes, folks who are doing long term uh, practices or events. These are not designed for you and I to sit around and sip on or our kids to do that because this has as much sugar as a full strength soda, a full sugared soda. Okay, and so and for purpose because, well, yeah. that, that sugar brings energy. Okay. But you and I don't need that because we're not, we didn't run just five we miles didn't or didn't run. Yeah. And so the last thing I really want to focus on before we leave, uh, keep in mind granolas are another big hidden sugar. A lot of people live on low fat products, mm -hmm. right? Because we're trying to cut fat. They've gotten that message. When you take out fat out of a product, you're going to add a lot more sugar. Okay. So your, your tip there is low fat yogurt, but add your own fruit. Okay. Well, that makes so much sense. And of course you can add the fresh fruit. Thank you so much, Susan. You're